In Quo Vadis Aida, Aida works as a translator for the United Nations in Srebrenica, which has recently been invaded by Serbian forces. Her family is one of hundreds seeking protection. Aida faces a dilemma. Can she use her position to help her family and her people? The winner of the Lux Audience Award is chosen by the public and members of the European Parliament. The three nominees for the 2022 Lux Audience Award have been announced. Flea is an animated documentary telling the true story of a meme an Afghan refugee who came to Denmark alone as a teenager. Now, years later, he confronts a secret from his past. Hey! Great Freedom takes place in post-war Germany, when homosexuality was a crime. Hans is put in prison for being gay. While there, a relationship slowly develops between him and his cellmate, Victor. Evo nas 11. jula 1995. godine u Srpskoj Srebrenici. Poklanjamo srpskom narodu ovaj grad. In Quo Vadis Aida, Aida works as a translator for the United Nations in Srebrenica, which has recently been invaded by Serbian forces. Her family is one of hundreds seeking protection. Aida faces a dilemma. Can she use her position to help her family and her people? The winner of the Lux Audience Award is chosen by the public and members of the European Parliament. The three nominees for the 2022 Lux Audience Award have been announced. Flea is an animated documentary telling the true story of a meme an Afghan refugee who came to Denmark alone as a teenager. Now, years later, he confronts a secret from his past. Hey! Great Freedom takes place in post-war Germany, when homosexuality was a crime. Hans is put in prison for being gay. While there, a relationship slowly develops between him and his cellmate, Victor. Evo nas 11. jula 1995. godine u Srpskoj Srebrenici. Poklanjamo srpskom narodu ovaj grad. In Quo Vadis Aida, Aida works as a translator for the United Nations in Srebrenica, which has recently been invaded by Serbian forces. Her family is one of hundreds seeking protection. Aida faces a dilemma. Can she use her position to help her family and her people? The winner of the Lux Audience Award is chosen by the public and members of the European Parliament.
President Mitsola, ladies and gentlemen, those in the chamber as well as those joining us virtually, welcome to the award ceremony of Lux, the European Audience Film Award by the European Parliament and the European Film Academy in partnership with the European Commission and Europa Cinemas. The nominations for Lux, the European Audience Film Award 2022 are Flea, directed by Jonas Poher Rasmussen, Great Freedom, directed by Sebastian Meise, and, and Quo Vadi Saida, directed by Yasmila Banich. Please welcome, representing the Danish, French, Swedish, and Norwegian co production Flea, director Jonas Poher Rasmussen, as well as producer Monica Hellström. Representing the Austrian and German co-production Great Freedom, director Sebastian Meise, as well as producer Sabina Moser. And finally, representing the co-production from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Austria, Netherlands, France, Poland, Norway, Germany, Romania, and Turkey, Quo Vadi Saida, director and producer Jasmila Spanic, and Manira Subasic, president of the Mothers of Srebrenica Association and survivor of the Srebrenica genocide. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, welcome to the Lux Audience Award. I am very pleased to welcome the directors and the producers of the three powerful films shortlisted for this year's Lux Audience Award. I sincerely congratulate them and you for your film's work studied uh, already, and rightly so, with glory and uh, success. We are honored that our partners from the European Film Academy, the European Commission and Europe Cinemas could join us too. I truly hope that you will remember your nomination for the Lux Audience Award as something unique in a prolonged cinematic career going forward. This Lux Audience Award is unique. It is the only cinema prize awarded by a parliament both members of the European Parliament as well as European citizens are allowed to cast their vote from across 27 European Union member states. Nominated Lux Award films are subtitled in 24 languages, screened over 400 times in all the European Union member states, and multiple debates are organized around them between cinema lovers members of the European Parliament and film industry professionals. With the Lux Audience Award, the European Parliament shows its support for European creativity and excellence in filmmaking. And the European Parliament stands clearly for freedom of expression in film, for directors, storytellers and authors alike. The Lux Audience Award builds bridges between our political work and the creative work of filmmakers in Europe. Lux films echo through art, the sentiment of the fight for civil rights, 
human rights, justice, democracy and freedom. And it is wonderful that many of Lux Audience Award winners from 2021 as well as from 2022 are with us here today in Strasbourg. The three Lux Award nominees share a common message, the struggle for freedom, a fundamental value of the European Union. I welcome Jonas Poher Rasmussen, director of FLEA, who presents the incredibly moving film that tells the extraordinary but true story of Amin, a child refugee from Afghanistan who escapes his country in order to live in freedom. This extremely touching story makes us wonder how many Amins are out there seeking to flee injustice and persecution. I welcome Sebastian Meiser, director of Great Freedom, who shows us that the end of World War II was not a liberation for everyone. Criminal law outlawed homosexuality in the years following 1945. This film pays homage to all those who fought discrimination based on sexual orientation and who wished to live in freedom. I welcome Yasmina, Yasmila Zbanic, director of Kuova de Zaida, who offered another view on the suffering of people during the 1995 Srebrenica genocide. This film is a strong call for justice for the women and mothers of Srebrenica who witnessed the atrocious killing of over 8,000 loved ones. Such horrendous atrocities and such a crime against humanity must never be forgotten. And ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you to applaud here with us today the president of the Association of the Mothers of Srebrenica and the survivor of the genocide, Ms. Munira Subasic. We are honored. We are honoured, truly honoured, that you can be here with us today in this house of democracy and freedom. All three shortlisted films draw from historical events, but their subjects are extremely topical today, as we know too well about the disasters of an ongoing war in Ukraine and the plight of displaced people forced to flee for their safety at the risk of falling victims of other horrors on land and at sea. Ladies and gentlemen, dear directors, be assured that the message of your powerful films has been received and that the European Parliament will always be with you on the side of liberty, freedom and human rights. You are an inspiration to the world of film. Thank you for what you do. Mrs. Sabina Verheyen, Member of the European Parliament and Chair of Parliament's Committee on Culture and Education, will now present the award for the third place nominee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the exciting moment when we discover who has won the third prize of the Lux Audience Award. And I announce that the third prize was won by Sebastian Meiser for Great Freedom.
Vice President Evelyn Reichner will now present the award for the second place nominee. Getting exciting uh, again, more exciting. And the second prize goes to Flee from Jonas Bohler Rasmussen. Congratulations. So it falls to me now uh, to announce uh, the Lux Prize Audience Award for 2022. And the winner is Quo Vadis Aida Yasmila Zbanic. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would... Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, it's been 27 years since the genocide in Srebrenica. I survived the genocide. 22 members of my immediate family were killed in the genocide. My husband, my youngest son, whom I loved dearly, I buried two of his bones. I begged, dear God, to make sure that mothers never experience what we experienced. I prayed to dear God that no mother would ever look for her son's bones again. But while I'm speaking here, unfortunately, in Ukraine, mothers are crying, looking for the bones of their sons. They're crying. Russian mothers are crying too because it's their children who went to either be killers or to be killed. So I beg of you, stop the war in Ukraine. Stop so that as few mothers in the world as possible suffer. Please stop the suffering. The suffering of a single mother is hard enough. Thank you once again. Thank you all who have voted for this film. I just, I just want to say another thing. The worst thing in the world is to wait for justice, and we have been waiting for it for 27 years. We've been waiting for it for 27 years. Thank you. I felt a strong duty to tell these stories. At that moment when I was preparing film about genocide in Srebrenica, I was thinking that uh, 
war in Bosnia, Croatia, in our region is the last one in Europe. Uh, I was so shocked to, to learn that we Europeans allowed war in Ukraine, that we didn't find a way how to negotiate and that war never happens. I really urge you all to find a way to stop the war in Ukraine. As you can Posljedice rata su tako jake i bolne više od 30 godina nakon rata. Ovo će biti katastrofa za Evropu, ovo s čim se sad suočavamo. Možemo vas, zaustavite rat, pobrinite se o zemljama koje nisu u Evropskoj uniji, koje žele da budu u Evropskoj uniji, kao BiH. Suočavamo se sa srpskim i hrvatskim nacionalizmom uz podušku Putinovu. Putin EU and save our region because it will be the next one. Thank you very much.
Dear colleagues, can I ask you to take your seats?